While the Jets got a win on the gridiron in Denver on Sunday, the team might have lost one of their offensive weapons. Rookie running back Brees Hall exited Sunday's game against the Broncos in the second quarter of Gang Green's 16-9 victory with a knee injury. Now, before exiting the game, Hall had 72 rushing yards on four carries and a touchdown. After the game, head coach Rob Asala gave an update on the tailback. Brees doesn't look good. Uh, dealing, uh, he's got his knee. Uh, initial diagnosis is not good, but... Uh, We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Corey, uh, he's also dealing with a knee. Got cleared to, uh, to play. It just wasn't uh, feeling right, so we'll get another uh, uh, evaluation tomorrow. Not concerned long term. Um, AVT's dealing with an elbow. He'll be evaluated tomorrow. Um, everyone else was uh, cleared to uh, come back to uh, play. We still have Michael, you know, and I'm not going to count him out. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to try to stay as optimistic as I can for him, but yeah, he's, he's a heck of a football player. And when you lose great football players, it's it's not good, but uh, we also have a lot of faith in, uh, in Ty Johnson and Michael Carter and uh, Bam Knight, who's a rookie, who he'll get his opportunities. So there's there's still a lot of guys out there on our team that we feel good about. Now Hall, he's been one of the best rookies in the NFL this season and the most explosive player on the Jets roster. He showed that explosion on Sunday in the first quarter with a 62-yard touchdown run. And according to Next Gen Stats, on that touchdown, Hall reached 21.87 miles per hour that's the fastest speed any ball carry has reached this season in the NFL.